In this example, we will be finding the square root of 23. To do this, we want to look at perfect squares near 23. We can look at 4 squared, which is 16, and 5 squared, which is 25. We can see that 23 falls between 16 and 25. So we can write the following inequality. 16 is less than 23, which is less than 25. Now we can take the square root of all these values in our inequality. The square root of 16 turns into 4, because 4 squared is equal to 16. The square root of 25 turns into 5, because 5 squared is 25. Now we have the following inequality. 4 is less than root 23, which is less than 5. So we can see that the square root of 23 is between 4 and 5. However, because 23 is closer to 25 than it is to 16, our tenths place decimal approximation of the square root of 23 will be closer to 5 than it is to 4. Let's try out 4.8 squared and see how close we can get to 23. 4.8 squared is 4.8 times 4.8. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 6 is 38. Now add our 0. 4 times 8 is 32 carry the 3, and then 4 times 4 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Now when we add these together, we end up getting 23.04. And that's very close to 23, so we can say that 4.8 squared gives us approximately 23. Now if we take the square root of both of these values, the square root on the 4.8 squared cancels out along with the squared. So now we get 4.8 is equivalent approximately to 23, meaning the square root of 23 gives us about 4.8 if we're rounding to the nearest tenths place decimal.